Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome to our Ramadan Imsa Iftar series. My name is Sakhana and I'll be your host for today's program. Alhamdulillah, we have reached the last 10 days of Ramadan. Today, we are in the 26th day. In a hadith narrated by Imam Bukhari, Rahmatullahi alayhi, whoever fasts during the month of Ramadan with sincere faith and hope for Allah's pleasure, his sins shall be forgiven. And whoever stands for Laylatul Qadr with sincere faith and hope for Allah's pleasure, his past sins shall be forgiven. Alhamdulillah, with this hadith, we can understand that our sincere fast and prayers, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives our sins. Let us all strive to attain the night of Laylatul Qadr, a night that is better than a thousand months, to seek our forgiveness sincerely from our Rabb. With this reminder, let us take a look at what are the programs lined up for today. We will be beginning our program as usual with our daily Ayat of the Day series by Mualim Boys. Next, Husnul Khuluk series will follow by our low primary girls. Thirdly, from our primary level boys, a Rawi recitation. Following that, a Kirat reading on Surah Toha from our boys level. Fifth, a video on Duha and Tahajjud prayers. Continuing next, a parenting video from our parents' class. After that, our dear preschool level will continue with their Arabic letters. Subsequently, parents' class are sharing about their Sohabiyah. Following next, healthcare tips from our healthcare team. To conclude, our boys will recite the last 10 days of Ramadan's closure dua. Come, let's start out our program with the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from the Quran. Our Muslim boys will be reciting the ayat of the day. Inshallah, let's ponder over the meaning of the ayat. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajim. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Law tanalul birra hatta tufiku mimma tuhibbun Wa ma tufiku min shay'in bihi alim Sadaqallahul Azim Ningal Nisikum Purul Gilirindu Dhanum Sayyadu Vari Ningal Nanbi Aniya Mati Irgal Yenda Purulai Ningal Selva Sayyidalum Nichiya Maga Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala Adi Nan Karitta Vanaga Irikiran Alhamdulillah In the Ramadanil Nam Yenda Gali Sari Sayyidu Nam Sayyum Sayyil Gali Anitim Allah Kaga Sayyibu Ameen. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Subhanallah, wasn't the ayat beautifully recited? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala soften our hearts with these ayats. Coming up next, our low primary girls are here to share another good character in Husnul Khuluk series. Let's see what it is about today. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh everyone. I am Sumaira from P3 Girls. Welcome back to another episode of Husnal Hulki. Guide to good character. Alhamdulillah, we have passed the first 10 of Ramadan and hope that all of you have been trying your best to emulate the characters of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. After spending some time and thoughts on honesty and respect, we will be looking at another character to uphold for today, and that is being patient. Let's start with a beautiful Quran ayat about patience. Waspir fa inna la yubiu ajr al muhsinin. And be patient. Certainly, Allah does not discount the reward of good towards. 
Allah has reminded us to be patient many times in the Quran. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam also wanted us to be patient at all instances. Our family and friends also advise us to be patient and not get angry. Despite hearing this all the time, why is it still difficult to be patient, especially when we are angry? As we think about it, when the reward of patience is so great, it is not going to be easy to reap the reward, isn't it? لَيْسَ الشَّدِيدُ بِالسُّرَاءَةِ إِنَّمَا الشَّدِيدُ الَّذِي يَمْلِكُ نَفْسَهُ إِنْدَ الْقَضَبِ The strong man is not one who wrestles well, but the strong man is one who controls himself when he is in a fit of rage. Do we all agree now how difficult but important it is to be patient? Patience is not only about controlling anger, but it also leads to the root of forgiving others. Let us look at what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said about forgiving others. But if you pardon, overlook and forgive their faults, then Allah is truly all-forgiving, most merciful. Can you think of an instance where our patient is greatly put into test? Yes, exactly, it is now. When all of us are fasting, we will come across many situations where we might lose control and patience since we are hungry and thirsty and might not be able to keep calm. Despite here the struggle, we all are still fasting and the rewards of fasting are far beyond imagination if we do it correctly. Fasting is not only about keeping ourselves away from food and drinks, but also preventing ourselves from anger, evil thoughts, bad deeds, worldly desires, etc. قال الله عز وجل كل عمل ابني آدم له إلا السيام هو لي وأنا أجزي به فوالذي نفس محمد بيده لخلفة فم الصائم أطيب إن الله من ريه المسك الله سبحانه وتعالى the majestic and the exalted said, Every act of the son of Adam is for him except fasting. It is done for my sake, and I will give a reward for it. By Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in whose hand is the life of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the prayer of the observer of fast in sweeter to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala than the fragrance of musk. Inshallah, let us all try to make the best out of this Ramadan. See you in the next episode of Husna Khul. Wa assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa ta'ala wa barakatuhu. Yes, we should cultivate that important character, being patient and learn to control our anger. Next up is a Rawi recitation by our primary level boys. Let us hear the hadith they are going to say. Abu 
It was narrated from Abu Hurairah radiallahu anhu that the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "There was a branch of tree that annoyed the people. A man removed it, so he was admitted to paradise." Sunan ibn Majah. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Subhanallah. That is a reminder for us that even the smallest deed, removing a branch away from the road, can lead us to paradise. Following next is a kirat recitation from the boys' level on Surah Taha as part of the Khalifa challenge. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم طه ما أنزلنا عليك القرآن لتشقى إلا تذكرة لمن يخشى تنزيلا ممن خلق الأرض والسماوات العلى الرحمن على العرش استوى له ما في السماوات وما في الأرض وما في الأرض وما بينهما وما تحت السرى وإن تجهر بالقول فإنه يعلم السر وأخفى الله لا له الأسماء الحسنى وهل أتاك هنيس موسى إذ رانا نارا فقال لأهلهم كسوا إني آنست نارا لعلي لعلي Inshallah, we're nearing the time of iftar. Catch you all after breaking your fast. 